What do you do when you have created a successful community art project that's gaining national recognition? You start another. That's exactly what Sherry Brown and Mark Tucker decided to do after Mark had an illuminating experience on a college travel program. And so was born Fool Moon. What we haven't talked about is Fool Moon. Okay. So Festa Fools was what brought you here. Mm -hmm. Six years ago, we also developed Fool Moon, which is really a complete community event. And what is it? It's luminaries, sculptural luminaries, and you should see some of them are glorious. Sculptural luminary, defy, explain that to me. What does it look like? Um, well, this is another Mark. I mean, this is Mark's creativity at work. He did a uh, travel program with students. Um, there's a summer program that the university runs, and they um, take uh, different professors take different groups of students for experiences. Um, in this country and other countries. And so he took a group to Italy and they experienced a wire and tissue paper uh, making sculptural luminaries and then this small villages processional and celebration with these light-based pieces. How beautiful. Stunningly beautiful. And so Mike calls me about a month later, he said, I have an idea. It may be crazy, but I have an idea. And then a couple of other pieces fell into place, and there were a couple of community businesses, and then a uh, co workspace, and the library, and you know, just a number of little pieces of people who, and institutions and organizations who said, oh, we could help, never having seen it. It had never existed. And the two of us just flew at it, and about three or four months later, it happened. And this was six years ago? Yeah. The other reason for having it is, I don't know if you noticed, but Festivals is completely non-commercial. Because it's, an, it's street theater, it's art. And we're not going to put names of, but there are lots and lots of businesses in this community who have helped us and so how do you say thank you so we thought oh put your name in lights <laughs> and so there are you know there are a number of really creative ways that we can acknowledge people so it became almost as a fundraiser so it's our event that Helps, uh, to fund helps to fund festivals. Plus the fact that it now extends your event to a weekend. Exactly. Engaging people to come and stay over. Exactly. All right, if there's one thing people need to know about festivals, what is that that we didn't talk about or that they don't know? What is that one thing? I, mean, I think it's the way it engages community, that anybody can be creative. And that we are going to help them ex explore and understand just how creative they are. So okay. the student will learn how to do the molding and the paper mache and the painting and the structural pieces that build the bodies and give them movement and um, and then and the community is welcome to sign up and come in and help do some of the paper macheing and so they they help compress the the time span and do some of the repetitive work so the students do all of it and and the community comes in and helps in that way how does the community know about this how is that communicated to your community um, they go to our website we've got a lot of returning people and we've got a lot of groups of people we've got um, women who do art visits and projects every Saturday morning and they come in and do one Saturday morning and Girl Scouts and um, you know other community service groups. And it is so fun. It is so fun and then we need you know 150 or more volunteers to um, actually to make actually. the puppets move through the parade mm -hmm. and where do you find them? Uh, through Facebook and talking in the radio and and then we haven't talked enough about Full Moon, which is completely community built. Okay. So we have hundreds and hundreds of luminaries. 
Some people will make one one year and they'll continue to bring that back because they just enjoy being a part of it. And do you make just do they make that together in a big hall somewhere? No, a lot of people make them at home. Um, how do they know how? Because they come to one of our workshops. Okay. And because we have videos online called cooking shows. We have cooking shows. So cooking? Yeah, if you Google full moon luminary making. We've produced, I don't know, two or three how, how to. It's not a hard process. It's, you know, it's wire. You make a little wire frame and you uh, band the wire three dimensional frame together with strapping tape at the joints mm -hmm. and then you cover the whole thing with clear packing tape and then you dilute a little Elmer's glue or, you know, glue. And you paint, you tear up whatever color tissue paper you want to make whatever your design is, and you just paint that on the clear packing tape um, skin mm -hmm. with uh, watered down Elmer's glue, and you stick some lights in it, and you're good to go. It's really simple. And they make so many different kinds of LED lights and battery operated mm -hmm. lights now. It's amazing what you can do. Do you have a standard as far as size goes? No. Just make your luminary little and show kids up. make little kid size stuff. It's really cute. And some people we had this year we commissioned an artist uh, who's been making these stunning luminaries. Uh, last year she did. Um, last year's theme was Cirque du Soleil, <laughs> and she did an elephant with a ballerina on top, and it was gorgeous. Holy cow! This year it was Metamorphosis. So she made a caterpillar whose wings came out, and the caterpillar itself was probably five or six feet long, and the wings were like 17 or 18 feet long, and this thing just floated. And it, one person, the way she constructed it. What is the biggest challenge when you're trying to take artists volunteers who, who know the process and people who've never even shown up before and just want to come and try it and coordinating all that into a parade. Well, it just sort of, you don't expect perfection for one thing. It's, I mean, that's a fun of it. It is ragged. <laughs> it's foolish. It's foolish. Right? It's exuberant. I mean, it, it just, you, it, there are, there will be videos of this year's full moon. This year's full moon, um, was the good weather day, and we had thousands of people. Is every year different then? A little bit. Is there a year that you remember is more remarkable than the rest? They're all remarkable for different reasons. I think full moon this year will be remarkable. Because? Because it was the it, well, it was the first really good weather. The first one was remarkable because we didn't know if anybody would make these things and come. Mark and I thought we could be the only two standing here when all was said and done. <laughs> but many, they did come. How many people showed up that first year? And we think about 2,500. Wow. Now, we had a couple hundred luminaries, but right. the rest of the people came. Right. And it was, it was enchanting. It was